now there. Oh, bombs in as well. Tracy. Oops. Rebecca. Ruthie, you're welcome in. God. Beautiful day again. Well, I suppose it is. I'm. Didn't wake up till late. I feel like going back to bed now. Quick turnarounds aren't no good for me, I don't think. Thank you, Dom. Yeah, we're now we're in front, yeah. Not long now. Monday. Tracy, not that long now. That's good. What time is it? 12.22. We don't change the clocks until tomorrow. We're outside the Madeira Centro. Good morning, uh, Margo. Did I miss anybody? Nancy? Oh, there's another Nancy in. Nanny. I thought I missed someone. Billy. Hi there, Billy. Dara, you're useless with it, yeah. Captain Poldark, good afternoon. Oops, move your car quickly, they're on the way. You get towed away. Anybody fancy doing my shift this afternoon? I'm feeling absolutely knackered today. I think all those uh, last last week has caught up on me. Jackie, good afternoon. Loads of places uh, get Christmas meals. Yes, they do specials. Lots of places do the Christmas dinners. You're here. All right, Tracy. Hopefully we'll catch up with you here then. Enjoying the beautiful weather. Hi, Clara Lou. It's out late at Halloween. All right. All that drinking I was doing, yeah. Yes, it's caught up. I don't know how the others can do it. I suppose they got the they got the age bit better on me. <coughs> I might not feel like 62 at times, but uh, it does catch up with you eventually, I suppose. There's another beautiful day, yeah. I don't know what the temperature is yet. I haven't seen a temperature gauge. I was too late for the bus, so I had to walk right down to the bottom and get the bottom road bus. Because I was late out this morning. So, uh. Could have done with a, a longer lie in. Just like Nancy still is. 27 degrees it is. Yeah, 27 it is. You're going out tomorrow night looking for a four to a two day hangover, yeah. It's absolutely amazing, yeah, 27 it is. They said it could be up to 30 degrees at night over the weekend. We're having a bit of a mini heat wave. You're arriving on the 13th, well I say a mini heat wave, I hope it's a, a long heat wave. Eight days for you now. Yeah, we'll try and keep the heat wave going for when you get here. As you can see it's uh, absolutely amazing. All the halos there. But, uh, what's that missed you? I was looking out for you. All oh, right, yeah, I didn't go live last night. I was, I was late leaving, so well, late-ish leaving. So I just went straight home and I went uh, went straight to bed. I was absolutely knackered. We had a really busy night at the bar. So good night. Scorchio, it is Scorchio, 27, there you go. 
Uh, I did, Stacey, yes, thank you, of the sunset. I did look at them. I don't know what time that was, but I think it was just before I went to bed, or went to sleep, I should say. Such a deep blue sky, I know. You so want to come out for Christmas? Well, yeah. we'll, have to, we'll have to try and uh, have a look around and see what deals are on. You're bound to get some good deals. I would have thought, let's have a look. Now I'm going to struggle to see the screen. Bit of blue sky in Wales, oh that's good. I always feel guilty when we have all the good weather here. I always like the fact that you can have it as well. I know it's not going to be quite as warm, but at least, uh, you know, it could be dry for you, dry and sunny. Hope to see you around. Who's that? Yes, okay. Well, I'm going to work now for the next three days, so you'll know where I am between um, between one and seven. I'm going to be today, tomorrow, and Sunday. We stayed in Villa Martin. Oh yeah. I drove to Benidorm. Yeah, but it is a bit far. It's a couple of hours and early. Got a nice shopping centre down there, though. Um, Lasagna. I like the Argentinian steak restaurant in there. Hi there, honey. My, my brain's not thinking this morning. It's not. My brain is in uh, stop mode. I'm just I'm just on autopilot. So whatever comes out is <laughs> whatever I see is in order for it. My office says 27, yep. Is there in there Monday? Oh right, yeah, it is lovely. I, I like, they just keep bringing the meat out, you know, that on the skewers, on the whatever, they just keep bringing and bringing. It's amazing. Right, if I go in here, good burger. I don't know what's happened to them. I don't know if they've finished or what. But it used to be, it did used to be a good burger. They've closed up. Yeah, I drank a coffee. What I'll do is, when as soon as I get in work, I'll get um, I'll get one from Peter. Oh, we'll go in this way for a change. Because I have my proper breakfast either, so I'll get Peter to bring me in some some of his famous Cumberland sausages in a sandwich, toasty. Need a shot, I've had too many shots, I think that's what's killed me. It's the shots that are killing me, I think. So this is uh, tiki pizza. Well, that's the tiki cocktails. That's the tiki pizza just there. So, uh, I'm not going to be able to see the screen now. There's a few here. Right through the middle of the sun. But, um, let's see what the beach looks like. Looking a bit, um, a bit busy on the beach. <laughs> Don't listen to Nigel, what's that? <laughs> This is uh, the amount of people here on the beach today. Here we are nearly at Halloween, look, celebrating Halloween and the weather is just absolutely amazing. Look at that for a view. I was working until late. Shots of espresso, yeah. I, do, I wish I could spend me time on the beach. I don't get time. I had a, I had a swim for an hour or so with uh, Rebecca last week. That's the, only, that's the first time I've been on the beach and the last time for a long time. Look at it. It's absolutely... You're back next year. 
Yep. Perhaps if I stop doing TikTok for a while, I might get time to go on the beach. Mind you, I could take you all on the beach with me, so I do sometimes. Just checking the beach as well, by the way, so. Look at that, absolutely amazing. No, don't you dare. It's uh, pretty well packed today. <laughs> don't stop, no. You're on the beach now, I wish I was. I'm heading to work. <coughs> Got a bit of live entertainment in Tiki Town today. Walk of life, yeah. Don't be late. Well, it's only me that I'll be late for if I'm late today, although Martin will be at late, you know. I ain't got to relieve anybody. I'm opening up today, so. So if you're around, come and join us. I'll be there until seven o'clock Spanish time. Bit of walk of life as we see. I work in a bar in the old town, just a little a few minutes away. So, uh, just up the end of the beach here and turn right. But uh, yeah, just look at the amount of people today again. It's, I never expected to see it quite so packed, but just people everywhere. I don't know what's, oh, the sand men are here. That's why everybody's looking at. I wondered what they're looking at, look. Sand men are back. Somebody else gonna chuck any money in? Missed you when I was... There, you were off on a break. All ah, right. Somebody else gonna pay any? They don't move unless you give them some money. They've got bottles there now, look. Yeah. You could convert to this kind of living. I bet you would, Nancy, yeah. Everybody does love it here. It's absolutely amazing here, it is. Everything you want out of life is here in Benidorm. All year, all year round, good weather. I mean, it gets chilly at night in the winter, but uh, you still get plenty of sunshine. Temperature 27. That's so far, it'll go up higher than that because we're not at the warmest part of the day yet. What's the point so boring? What's so boring? Somebody with a sad life? Aggie, what's so boring? You need to start living, Aggie. Oh, well, he's gone. Oh, there's the police. No, they're not moving him on, look. Look, police have just gone by. Here they go. Flamingo Aces is a nice hotel. I've not stayed there. I've been inside the down the bottom and by the reception. But yeah, no, police aren't moving a pilot. How oh, hot? 27. What's the best hotel? It depends where you want to be in Benidorm because Benidorm is so massive. It's probably what seven, eight miles long or more. You could stay in in the Grand Valley and have to get a 10 euro taxi ride everywhere to get to all the action. It's quiet out where the Grand Valley is, or you could go to the Presidente or the Don Pancho or the Arcos and be right in the center of it all. Just depends what you want out of it, really. You know, if you want theme parks and everything. How much is a flat? Quite cheap. Are they real people? Of course they are. Yeah, they are real people. Here, look, watch them move now, look. Somebody's put some money in their pot, so... 
ready to go. You'll be on that beach tomorrow. Good. So there you go. Somebody else? Yep, somebody else is going to pay. Look, here we go. And another one. So, yeah. Where is this? Benidorm. Weather. Last night it was 17 degrees. It's getting down to 17 degrees at night now. It's cooling down a bit. But they've said over the weekend it could be up to 30, so we, we could be on a bit of a heat wave again. Oops, I can't show the beach. Can't show this part of the beach, I'm afraid. I know she's got her arm in the way, but she could suddenly move that one. So. We can show this part of the beach, though. So. Here we go. The Sandmen are back, yes. Linz, yeah. Not very big Linz, but still Linz. So, uh, <laughs> enough to get noticed. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, it's beautiful. wrong with Chester? Oops, I can't, hang on. Let's just put that sign in the way. I'll show you a bit more then. You're okay here. Beautiful view with the island in the background. Is it this nice? Yeah, it's usually good. This is, I mean, we're out, we're out, we are actually we are actually a bit warmer than usual, but it is still good. It can be good weather all, all year round. We, you can be sunbathing during the day, every day of the year. We've had 28, 29 in January and February before. There's your rock. Yep, it's not unusual to be out on the beach this time of year. It's just a slightly higher temperatures than usual. So, and it's, it's like it all across Spain as well. And we can get this any time, any time of the year. It can get, when the time is right, when, when we get the, the, the warm air coming from the Sahara Desert, we get it like this. Look at it. Even in the winter. Not a patch on the rock. It's not meant to be a patch on the rock of Chimacaronga. We let all the we let all the monkeys stay down there. All the apes. We don't want the apes up here. They're a bit nasty. They are. They can be. We don't want to be like Gibraltar. We want to be distinct. Twenty-seven at the moment. Yes, last time I went to Gibraltar, the apes weren't very nice. I didn't actually get to see them, but uh, some people told me about it, so... Her friend who was with us decided that uh, she couldn't go all the way up there because uh, her partner was uh, not very well back at home. We were get getting there. We went, we drove around where the, where the boat is, out on the, the wreck of the boat, on the other side. Of course, I drove down when I lived in France. We stayed down in um, in a with our friends down in Sabanias or well Puerta de la Gessa, should say. Time is at 
So this is a good place to get a coffee if you want to go for a coffee. Rico. There's also an ice cream shop as well. Good morning. Hi there. Thanks for the follow. Hi there. Yep. Yeah, we don't get too much trouble with the seagulls here. In fact, I don't know of any trouble with the seagulls. That's going up to Walking Road, up towards the Tapas Square of Zodiac. The Wheel of Benidorm is right up the end there. Is Javier worth a day trip? Yeah, is it just to see something different. Yeah, of course it is. You can go on the train to um, Denia. Get the train, it's very cheap. Or you can get the train and go to Alicante. And I don't know if it's still free on a Sunday. It was free on a Sunday. I don't know if that's just for residents or for everybody, but the trains were free on a Sunday. Sorry. Did I say Sunday? I can't remember now. But, uh, Dom, there's your hotel. The Can Valley. Not like Cornwall, then. I know. Well, I come from Cornwall, so I know what the goals are like. Especially in St. Ives. I know my dad was there with his ice cream. Well, he thought he was going to have an ice cream, but the seagull decided to knock it out of his hand. They dive bomb you in uh, in there. Well, they used to. I think they're trying to control it. Roisin will tell you, because Roisin lives there, my, one of my mods. When are you here, Cal? When are you here today? Yeah, they do attack, but they are trying to stop it. So, uh, Roisin will tell you, because Roisin is, lives in St. Ives. Go and get a massage on the beach. The Chinese ladies go round and they'll give you a massage on the beach. Look at, the, look at that. I can't see the screen now. Your mate. Kenty and Wobble are out soon. Watch out, ladies. All right. I'm trying to catch up the chat now. I'm trying to see when you're out. Oh, I thought it was today. When is it you're out then, Kel? I know you said you were all, you were actually all packed, ready to go. What's that? Monday. I'm trying. I'm going to have to put the camera this way on. I can't see the chat there. Oh, this afternoon you fly out. Ah, oh, right. Yeah, I thought it was today. Yeah, so Kel will be here, that's another moderator to join uh, DJ Dom, Jackie, uh, Craig, Nicole, Huda Ginger, they're already here. So we'll have Kel here. I don't know about Carl, what's up to Carl? I haven't seen anything because I haven't looked at the chat this morning again. I've been too busy. Treasure box. There's a treasure box up the top. Thank you for reminding me that I didn't see that. Who's put that up? Stu, make sure it says following on that right-hand side. Chance to get 100 coins. Good morning. Mike. And someone else there said morning. Hang on. Who's that? Wenders. Hi, Wenders. Yeah, I'm going to work. I'm, I was late last night getting home as well. We're ladish knackered as well it was a busy night good night in work good afternoon who said that Danny hi Danny you've got to get something sorted out to be back here for Christmas Rebecca says says you've got to be out here for Christmas. Thanks for the coins, Stu. I didn't click on the box, so I hope you've shared them all out. 
You can see if you want to see this beach more after I've gone, just up there there's a webcam. If you if you type in Bilbano Hotel webcam, if you see there, it's called Bilbano. You can see if you were on that webcam now, you could give me a wave, or I could give you a wave, I should say. But if you look on the internet, Bilbano Hotel, there is a webcam just there, somewhere there somewhere, and it points this way. So you can see, basically, this. That's what you can see every day, 24 hours. So you can see what it's like. Wall-to-wall -wall buildings. Of course there is, you've got a house, everybody. But that's wall-to-wall -wall sea and sun. It's worth it. It's got to be worth it. Look at it. Wall-to-wall -wall sun and sea. And lovely castles and viewpoints. And just behind us, there's Walter Wall Mountains. Just a 10, 15 minute drive. Where do you get that? You can have Walter Wall everything here. As I said before, everything is here in Benidorm. Walter Wall sunshine, Walter Wall sun. Walter Wall sand. Walter Wall buildings if you want them. Walter Wall. There's lots of theme parks as well. Walter Wall theme parks. Temperatures are, oh, temperatures 27 today. I go a little bit further. As long as she doesn't lay down or anything, we'll be okay. Because she's got her back to us, so. Look at that, look. And wall to wall people in the sea. I sent you a screenshot of the beautiful sunset. Yes, you did. Be on Facebook. Yeah, there is, well, no, there's not wall-to-wall -wall lins. There's one or two. Thankfully, it's not wall-to-wall -wall lins. If it was, I wouldn't be able to show you the beach. It is absolutely, and this is just this, this is the second largest beach in Benidorm, the second largest. You've got the Poniente, which is the other side. Poniente. Just around the corner from here, you've got the, the well, you've got the castle there. Then there's a little small beach called Malpas. Then there's a massive beach called Poniente. A bit further along then in La Cala, you've got La Cala Beach. And then if you do want the nudist part, then all you've got to do is to walk right down the end of here. Go up over the back there, and there's two more beaches over there, and there are the, the nudist beaches. So six beaches here in Benidorm. Hello from New Zealand. Came to Benidorm three years ago. It was cold. Yeah, well, we do get it cold. Do the nudist beach. I wouldn't be able to do it for long because uh, the only somebody would uh, notice that there's um, people with no clothes on. TikTok doesn't like that. I don't need to go there. Why would I want to go there? What's the point in going to see people nude? I don't see the point in that. Bon dia, Brazil, is that? Oh, that's not Val. Yeah, I don't see the point in that. Well, I've got 10 minutes to get to work, so. Last look at the beach before we head inland. Can't wait to come in January for three weeks. Yep, it'll be, well, we've had 28 degrees in, in January, but well, 29th of January one year. If you look at my YouTube channel, if you wanna have a look, look back through my YouTube clips and uh, find the days, because I, I, I've, I've covered virtually every day on my YouTube channel. So if you wanna know what it's like every day of the year, go and have a look on there and uh, you'll see what it's like. You'll see that we get the high temperatures in the winter as well. It's a good place to be in the winter. Good luck, if you like fish, here's a good place for fish.
Where's the K building? Oh yeah, there is a there is one there. Yeah, there is one on that down at the end as well. That looks down over the very end of the beach by the K building. I don't know what the name of the I don't know what the name of the um the camera is for that one though. What's the name of the camera for that? <coughs> there is a tourist office here if you need it by the way. The generator going there for some reason. There's a tourist office here. Hmm. Okay. That's better, I can see the screen now. This place here was, was used in the in the TV series, Benidorm. I forget his name now. Um, but he had a place there. I forget what it was called. But he used, either he lived there or it was a place. Streamed. And of course, just up here, the, that's where Matteo was dressed as a woman. We nearly got arrested by the police up this little secret alley. Just up through there, because you can get up to the top that way. Or you can go the little secret alley up through there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just up through, uh, just up through there. That's that goes up to the church as well. Yep. Yeah. Only 172 today. So uh, yep. Yeah, so that's the secret alleyway. That's where Matteo was filmed. Don't forget to go and look in the, all these bars. I think we got a table there for need special needs people, but. Uh, Where am I? I'm in Old Town Benidorm. That's where I am. Where about are you? Say hi to Louise Nichols. Hi Louise Nichols, how are you? Oh, let's have a look. Getting run over here. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to, well, I could do with someone coming and doing it for me, really. I'm feeling a bit knackered. Dublin here, Maine, USA. Hi there, Maine, USA. we got a few from America. We go just up there as a church. Just up on the corner, there's Twisted Cocktail. Until four o'clock, you can get a three euro fifty breakfast. Ah, yes, there's quite a few. So a good cheap breakfast right next, opposite the church, I believe. Lifelong dream is to call this place home. Well, I do call it home, but it is home, because home is where you have to work. It's not holiday, unfortunately. Oh, look at that, Stu. Thank you for the camping. And here we got Gin and Tonic Street. Hello from the Great Lakes in Michigan. Hi there. That sounds good to me. Lakes, I love fishing. Used to be a big carp and cat fisherman in um, France. Your mates are right there now from Derby. They're loving it. Of course they will. Louise is my number one fan. Hi, Louise. Yeah, cool camping gift. Time check, five minutes. Here's the candy shop just here, look. So when you find the candy shop, this is your kind of street. If you go, I can just about see where I work from here. I've got the candy shop behind me if I switch the camera around. Just straight up through there. Just around the corner is where I work. So we're like 30 seconds away from work. So, uh, the Swedish run that place, I know, it's quite good. Is Nancy married? Which Nancy? My Nancy is married, yes. Yep. Hiya, Sarah, how are you? Yeah. I'm at work until seven tonight. I'm, not, I'm on my way to work now. But uh, here we are, Oliver's. Yeah, I'm going to work now. We got the... Queen's B&B, a lot of people stay there, they say it's lovely. That's the Queen's B&B right here in the centre of Tabas Alley. There's bar 69, good for cocktails. They've got a roof terrace up on the top there. They say it's one of the best views around. The roof terrace. Yeah, I'm a barman, I'm on the way there now to the bar. So 
Hi from Birmingham, hi there. And of course, this is the Tapas Alley. It looks like a shop. Cava Aragonesa. But it's actually a, a great rooftop. Yeah, yeah. There we go, Sylvia says it's a great rooftop. So. Yep, and here we go. We're going to go through Tapas Alley now. Look. This is... I've missed... I, I never knew this place until I started working at this end. Just over a year ago. Well, I, I did find it a little bit, but... Never really uh, knew that this was Tapas Alley. Yeah, okay then, Dom. Enjoy your day by the pool. Don't make me jealous. So, uh, uh, lots of lovely food here waiting. You're making me jealous now. I should make up for it eventually, I expect. Well, I've already done it, I expect. Yeah. There's lots of fish here, look, if you like fish. No, no. Oh yeah, Pablo's in. I've just come back from Orihela. I always have difficulty in saying that word. Yep, so Pablo's in. Yep, he's here, look. There he is. So in our favourite tapas bar. I've got two minutes, right, I better get on. Exeter's Dream, of course it is. Most Brexit, no, the people who voted for Brexit, this isn't their dream, this is their nightmare, they didn't want to come here. That's why they voted for Brexit. Anybody who voted for Brexit didn't want to come on holiday. Right, I've got two minutes. Martin's sitting outside, so I can see him. There's where I work, right there, look. There's our flag, if Brian's in. Yeah, we'll have a good day. Well, hopefully. There's Martin sitting in the sun. Yeah, I'll catch you later. Have a good one, everybody. Let's put it this way. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll leave it on the bar for a minute. Oh, we've got customers already. But there's where I work, right here. Now we've got the Halloween decorations up, so we're all ready. So, uh, right, I'll see you all later. All right. Right, I'll see you later. Have a good one. Oi, oi. Oh. Shelly, that's for Nancy, not for me. I'm not a woman. <laughs> I'm a man, as Nancy says. I'm a woman. Yep, see you later. Yep, gotta go. One o'clock on the dot. See you soon. Hi.